That's right. I'm Aaron Guy here live in Parkland outside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, where six years ago today on Valentine's Day in 2018, 17 students and faculty were gunned down inside this school. They were simply going about their day, celebrating Valentine's Day with their friends. And today we honor and the people who lost their lives I want to show you the 17 victims. You can see their faces and may they never be forgotten. Today in the school district, it's known as a day of service and love all across the Broward County School District. It's an early release day for students. That's where the district says students they're hoping will learn via service and to honor the legacy of those lost. Then at 10 17 this morning, there will be a moment of silence all across the district. I was here last year as they were marking five years since the tragedy. People stop by the sign right in front of the school where there is um, a bit of a makeshift memorial to honor the victims. And while it has been six years, and I said a lot of people are going to say, wow, I can't believe it's been six years. Some people are going to say, man, it feels like just yesterday. It's very recent to so many people who experienced that tragic today. Today, especially hard for so many students. There were a lot of kids who were inside that school that day who walked away without those physical wounds, but some of the emotional wounds and the scars, they'll stick around for a very long time. Students who were inside the school that day say that certain noises and there are so many triggers in their everyday life that take them back to that moment. A lot of times I feel like trauma is diminished because of not having physical scars or physical injuries, but our scars are just as deep. Absolutely. Um, we've talked to some students who say that they keep in touch with teachers and other students who experienced that day because quite frankly, only the people that were in the building who experienced it that day are the ones who can relate to so many people who survived the tragedy. You know, in recent months, we've seen a lot of congressional visits right here behind me inside the school, and it's all been organized by a congressman who says he wants people, lawmakers, to see what that crime scene looks like in that building where the shooting happened. Now, the building, the 1200 building, it has remained mainly untouched since that day in 2018. The first tour was in August. Another was in November and Congressman Jared Moskowitz, who represents this area, he played a key role in making some of these visits happen. In addition to the lawmakers, we know family members also joined bipartisan group of lawmakers just so they could walk through and see what it was like on that day. And it was just last month, one of the nation's top education leaders went to the 1200 building to take a look for himself and address some of the family, friends and the people in the community. I want to bring in my colleague Josie Carbonari talking about the U.S. Secretary of Education, the visit that he made here and his reflections, his thought after walking through that building. Well, Aaron, the U.S. Secretary of Education, he held a roundtable discussion with the Parkland community, allowing people to really express their concerns and what they were thinking after this horrific tragedy and what changes they feel need to be made. So uh, during that roundtable discussion, we had parents, students and mental health professionals. They all talked about what can be done again to make schools safer in our area. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, from 2001 to 2021, 108 people have been killed and 168 have been wounded in active shooter incidents at K through 12 schools. Miguel Cardona, who is the U.S. Secretary of Education, says he believes that mental illness is still a big issue. I'm visiting Uvalde. I'm visiting here and there's still a lack of urgency in some who would rather protect assault weapons than children. And Aaron, the U.S. Secretary of Education says that visit to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, that tour that he did, was one of the, quote, most impactful moments in his life. I can imagine walking through what is a crime scene. It's been preserved. It, nothing has been touched since that day six years ago. Of course, the demolition is supposed to happen this summer. But it, yeah, I mean, a lot of changes have been made over the last six years. But so many lawmakers and so many family members of those victims say more changes need to happen. Josie, thank you so much. Please stay with us throughout the day as we do mark a, a sad day, a somber day for the state of Florida, for this Parkland community, as we honor those 17 victims all day long. For now, I'll go ahead and send it back to Stephen and Natalie. Aaron, thank you so much.